In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Today, well, it's 12 Sunday in ordinary time, but I'd like to say it's Father's Day Sunday. So let us offer this Mass for all of our fathers. None of them is perfect. Even that kind of fathers that commit a lot of mistakes, we need to pray for them and to offer this Mass for all of them. And we will listen today in the Gospel that even if we are passing a hard time, persecution, illness, desolation, sadness, we have a Heavenly Father. He never abandoned us. So let us prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins and let us ask for forgiveness. And I know the merciful Father will listen to our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you stand firm on the foundation of your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion, and my persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children. Because zeal of your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, 
who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I said to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the half stops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet no one of them falls to the ground without the Father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges, who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, will, I will deny before my Heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I think in our lives, we are afraid of many, many things. Or at least we are afraid of something. There are many fears in us. But we all have the ability to overcome our fears. The panic should not stop us from moving forward in our life. For a moment, could be. But and then, we find a way to continue forward. And we overcome our fears. Today, 
We, you understand me with this? I hope yes, okay. Today, we hear three times the same phrase, do not be afraid. Three times in this gospel we hear this, this phrase, do not be afraid. Well, we have a Father God who loves us and cares for us in moments of sadness, depression, anxiety, when all our fears are coming and creating us like desperation, frustration, there is the voice of God that tells us, that tells us, do not be afraid. I'm sorry. But also, he gave us life through our parents. And I don't know you, but I remember very well. I think from my father, I listened this phrase many times. When I'm afraid to use for first time my bicycle and my father, do not be afraid. You can do it. Come on. In Spanish, but he said that. But always, oh, in the darkness, in the night, I cannot sleep because I'm, a, I'm afraid of darkness and, and all the shadows I think are monsters. And, and then my father came and said, do not be afraid. I'm here with you. So he gave us a father. He gave us the opportunity to experience the love of our fathers. Today we celebrate Father's Day. And I invite you to pray with me for all your fathers, not only fathers talking about like biologic, biological, I don't know if you understand me, but for adoption or many, many mothers who have to play the, that uh, as a father and mother at the same time. So I will pray for, I will do a pray for all our, all our for all of our fathers. So I invite you to close your eyes, to put your hand on your heart, and bring to your, to your heart the image of your father, if it is on earth or if it is in heaven. And let us pray, Lord, today I, rest, I raise this prayer to ask you to take care of our fathers because they always need you. I ask you to be like fresh water of renewal for their lives. Please, restablish their bodies. Fill them with health and allow them to live long years among us. Give them strength of spirit and fill them with your grace and blessing so that they can continue sharing in our families for many more years. And regardless of their age, please give them moments of joy and happiness. Heal the wounds that the years have caused in their spirit and in their hearts. Please, dear God, listen to their prayers. I also ask you, dear God, that you serve me and my family the grace of a grateful heart that can love you without limit, to have patience and understand your request and cares, and that our hands are your support and also your God. Help them to never feel lonely in their soul. And if for some reason 
we could not be physically with them, made the flame of your love so intense and so honest that they can feel it, even when they are in the distance and so far from us. Please, Lord, cover our fathers with your cloak of love and kindness and may them feel happy, energetic and full of you. And to us, fill us with life, love and goodness to, eat, to be able to repay them from the depths of our soul for all those wonderful moments that they have left engraved in our being as an indissoluble mark that will remain with us forever. Heavenly Father, we ask this in the name of your only beloved Son, our Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And please stand and let us profess our faith because we believe in that heavenly Father that is with us. So let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and earth, and in, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only beloved Son, our Lord, Lord, who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, crucified died, died, and was, was buried. buried. He descended he into hell. hell. On the, third On the third day, day he rose again from the, from the dead, dead. He ascended into heaven, and is, and is seated, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, from there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God the Father knows the needs of every creature he has created. So now let us confidently ask him for his strength, for his love, and may he will hear all our intentions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, that all who, called to lead, who are called to lead the church will work to evangelize all who seek the truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our world, that all nations will reject the ways of violence and vengeance and work for justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, or in our homes, or wherever we may be, that we find comfort in the Lord when our hearts are troubled and extend that comfort to others whose hearts are also troubled. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our priests and religious, especially those who lost their lives during this pandemic and those who are serving the faithful in the given situations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all fathers, for new fathers, full of hope, for longtime fathers, full of wisdom, for fathers yet to be and fathers soon to be, and for all men who act as fathers, that they may enjoy the respect and love of their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all who are sick may know the healing power of Christ, and that all who have died may live forever with Christ in the glory of the resurrection. We especially remember Clotilda Dearlam, Jacob Lindstrom, and Ruben Nunez. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for a special intention of this Mass, Ed Waterhouse, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God, you are the Spirit and true. Hear the prayers we offer with all of our hearts. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice from your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of God his name, for our good, good and the good, good of all his, his holy church. church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by his actions, we make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to, huma to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, concealed out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as with that end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. In memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church, a spirit through all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Randolph, our Bishop, all the clergy, all the religious, all our deacons, all our vocations, all your people, O oh Lord. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially all of our fathers who die. We remember them and we honor them in this day. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Teresa of Avila, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Because we know that we have a Father in heaven, let us say together this beautiful prayer as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our hearts, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power and, and glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. So let us offer each other a truly sign of peace. Oh, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us the eternal life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to Christ. you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of
with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. and renew and nourish by the sacred, sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now I will invite to all the assembly to pray with me over all the fathers are here and even for all who cannot be here or are already with our heavenly father. So I invite you to put your hands over our fathers and say with me, heavenly father, you entrusted your son Jesus the child of Mary, to the care of Joseph, an early father. Bless all fathers as they care for their families. Give them strength and wisdom, tenderness and patience. Support them in the work they have to do, protecting those who look to them as we look to you uh, as we look to you for love and salvation through Jesus Christ our rock and defender amen and the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. our mass is ended Go in peace and share the love of God with others. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Happy Father's Day and thank, thank you, you for being here. Let's go.